So I recently picked up the set for 30% off. I just planned on getting it cheap and then parting it out. But I really want to know, does this actually work? Because the point of the set is this little game where you have the two different targets and you're trying to knock over different parts of the builds. It's an interesting idea, but today we're going to be looking at if it actually works. And we're going to be doing that using some math. Don't worry, it's, it's really not that complicated. Otherwise, I couldn't do it. But let's jump into it. So here we have our set, and I promise you guys, I did build it right. If you don't believe me, make sure to head down to the description, because I linked the live stream where I built this live. While you're down there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. So here we have our two figs, which go into their respective spots like this. There. So we have our two different figs, and then we have our two launchers, which are exactly the same. So for this experiment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try shooting these down 10 times each, and then I'm going to put these shooters a certain distance away from the build and measure it with this ruler so that I know that my results are correct. So I think a good range for this first one, they're both going to be the same, but we're going to start with this one. I think we'll do about... Um, oops, I just just started. I think we should do about eight inches away. That way I hit it every time and it's a pretty good distance. So if we move this away, we're going to do 10 tests with this one and 10 tests with the other one. Stay tuned to see the results. Y'all ready for the results? Here we go. So first off, looking at this, the good guy version, I guess you could say, I have that it worked six times, kind of worked three times, and kind of work means mostly just like only one of these fall down or didn't completely break. Um, so again, it worked three times, kind of worked one time, and didn't work one time. Now, our Imperial version right here was a lot more iffy. It kind of worked once, worked twice, and didn't work seven times. I found the big difference between the two of these is no matter where I hit this blue target, it'll most, most of the time work decently well. With this one, if you're not hitting the top of the target, it almost never works. If you're hitting the middle or even the bottom, nothing happens. But if you hit it right on the top, then it'll work. So basically what we have here is a 60% um, working rate, I guess you could say, at eight inches, mind you, and then only a 20% working percentage for this one, also at eight inches. Now eight inches for this game is right from here to here. That's a pretty good distance because I'm expecting mostly littler kids are gonna be playing with this, and I expect most of them to be holding it like this close and eight inches about this much. I think that's a pretty good distance to be testing the set. So I guess the real question is, should you buy the set for the playability? It's up to you. This one works pretty well. This one, I think if you aim more at the top will work pretty well. But as far as my tests goes, they're not perfect. Yeah, the only other hard part about the set is when moving it around, lots of things like fall open, but that's all right, I guess. Anyway, thanks for checking out this video. It was fun using actual kind of math and science to see how well a set worked. That was really interesting. Again, this is the set in question. So if you're looking to pick it up, it is still available. So get it before it retires. And if not, I wouldn't blame you. I don't think this is the greatest set, but the play features are interesting. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.